Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is our first Bible study. Well, when I mean first Bible study, I actually mean the first time I'm recording this for you guys. Um, There's a lot to cover. Let's just go right into it. Turn to Luke chapter 8, please. I'm already there, so I'll give you some time to uh, arrive. I would love to go on for a long time because it's just so good. When I read the scriptures, I'm just taken back. It's like I was living life and everything was just the same over and over again. You know, seen that, done that, you know. But every time I open the Word of God, the Holy Bible, and I just chew on this, it's like I'm I'm in a new world with greater joy, with greater peace, greater love, greater everything. I'm refreshed. I'm healed. I am I have purpose. But when I don't read my Bible, I am hopeless, whereas I had hope. I am defeated. I am angry. I am bitter. I am just all the bad. But every time I open these pages, wow, I'm in heaven. And And I never can understand this fully. I always get something new. Even when I read this, I've read this book multiple times and it's just something new every day. So if there's something that I want you to learn is in any of my teachings is read your Bible every day. Eat it, chew on it, think on it, meditate on it. Just just keep getting the word in you and see your life get transformed. Yeah. All right. Chapter 8, verse 4. The parable of the sower. And when a great crowd was gathering and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell among the path and was trampled underfoot. And the birds of the air devoured it, and some fell on the rock. And as it grew up, it withered away because it had no moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up with it and choked it. And some fell into good soil and grew and yielded a hundredfold. As he said these things, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. All right. So how do I start this off? Jesus spoke many parables. And in one of his passages, he says, the seed is the word of God. And when I think of word of God, I just think of words like Literally, words. I'm speaking about words right now. And you can hear my words. And you can see words. And we can call out to words, right? There's a garage behind me. I'm wearing a vest or not a vest, but a whatever. You know what it is. I have hands. I have nails. There's a book. There's a table. I'm using the camera to record. So there's words everywhere. All the time we look and we can perceive words 
sky is blue, the leaf, the texture. We can feel them. So there is an awareness here to pay attention to these words that are being spoken. There are a lot of good words. There are a lot of good things that God has made because God can just only make good things, right? Sex is a good thing, right? A man and a woman coming together and producing, which is good, a child. Wonderful, isn't it? It's good to sit down and finally have some rest, right? And sometimes it's good to stand up, get some stretches on, right? It's good to say nice things to each other. Those are good things. And I'm looking at a bee, I believe, that's floating around the camera. Oh, it's going to come in the lens. Um, those are nice, beautiful things to look at, you know. Trees. Wow. To feel. We can even feel these things. I can feel the book. I can feel the trees. I can feel my wife. <laughs> I can hear things that make me feel good, like the birds are chirping. A bug is clicking. The dog is barking. Those things are sensational to me. Many good things in the world. Many words. And many things to understand about the world that we live in. However, there are some bad words. Or there are words that can be hidden, such as they can appear to be good. But the intention and the motivation and the meaning behind the delivery is bad. Bad intentions hidden behind good um, things. But here we have the Bible. There are many Christians who claim that they are good on the outside. There are many people who go to church who claim they are good. There are many people in general who just claim that they are good. When I read the Bible and all these horrific things about humanity, or just when I go into the world, I see a lot of bad things. I've seen a lot of bad things. I've been bad. And I want to understand how to continually live in a good life. I want to have a good life. That's what this is about. And if you don't want to have a good life, well, just don't tune into what I'm about to teach. <clears throat> but if you want to have a better life, a good life, or get out of the bad life that you have, let's learn something about who God is. And that's what church is. God wants to give you a good life. He wants to teach you right from wrong and wants to show you how good he is. So Luke chapter eight, verse four. I know I just read this. The seeds, the sower went out to see. So Jesus describes himself as a son of man who went out to sow good seeds. And what he's saying is a man went out to sow, who is Jesus, to teach what is good and to teach what is bad. And he says, those who hold on to me, my word, I would teach you how to walk a good life and how to live um, humbly. And, and, and I will bless you if you obey my commands. My words are my commands. And you will live a good, fruitful life. If you plant yourself on my word and keep it for the rest of your life, you will have a good life. There will be challenges still, but the fullness of your life will be good. But if you do not keep my word and you do not ab um, abide my teachings and, and do these things, you will have a hellish life. So, sex is good. Sex outside of marriage is bad. I'm guilty of this too. So, but good thing there's repentance. Movies are awesome, but bad movies are not. They're actually influential. 
talking is wonderful having a conversation a relationship with someone gossiping bickering complaining those are bad things for god made things good and if he's good he wants to be thanked for his goodness i have a body i can eat all kinds of food i love mexican food i love japanese food sushi oh my gosh i love hugging my children and my wife and i love people to do those things to me i like to laugh but i don't like to laugh at evil so learn what is approved by god and what isn't because i don't want people to laugh at me when i fail and i don't and i don't want to laugh at others i don't want people to hurt me so i don't want to hurt others so the seeds that he just talks about is a sower You've got people teaching good things about who God is. And you got people teaching their own understanding and teaching bad and false things, which is leading people into bad life. And that's why we live in the world that we have, because a lot of people are walking around ignorant to who God is. They don't know or they don't care. But both are thrown into the fire. And their whole life is an example of what not to be but if you want a good life here it is there's seeds everywhere i was in a conversation or no i wasn't i was listening to a conversation and they were talking about someone bad badly and i decided to turn off my ear and not hear it or when i deal with people at work they say sarcastic jokes which are condescending which brings down the image of god and we are all made in his image and i don't laugh at it i don't approve of those things those aren't good god doesn't approve of it so it's fleeing from evil is important in this passage basically jesus is talking about people who hear the word of god they keep it they study the scriptures. They can never get enough of his teachings and how to better their lives. But those who don't care about it, they don't read the Bible. They don't care. Actually, they hate it. And they talk bad about it. And those people have, he talks about as a stony heart. But those who hear it, they grow up. Or those who hear it and they love it at first and suddenly the cares of this world start to get to them and they stop reading their Bible. They stop praying. They stop believing it and they basically fall away. But don't be like any of those people. Let's go a little further. The purpose of the parables. And when his disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said to you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God. But for others, they are in parables so that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while and in time of testing fall away. And so for what fell among the thorns they are those who hear but as they go on their way they are choked by the cares and riches of, and pleasures of life and their fruit does not mature as for that in the good soil they are those who hear the word hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience so i'm going to cut it to you right now Unless you're going to read your Bible every day, I can't help you. Because <laughs> for a moment, you'll listen to this, be entertained, and then you'll go along in your life and do whatever. Unless you're going to read the Bible every day, I can't help you. No one can. You're lost. And this is just entertainment for you. But unless you get a Bible... And you hold on to it and you read it every day and you dedicate your entire life to understanding and living a holy good life. 
I can can't tell you how amazing the journey in your eternity will be and that nothing in this world is worth getting to know who God is through his son who died for you on that cross. And that's what it takes to be a Christian. Every day we are called to die. So that's why I'm here to help you along your path. Those who don't hear. I'm sorry, man. Hell is going to suck. And it does suck. Your life, I'm pretty sure, already sucks. But if you want a good life, if you want a new life, get yourself a Bible and read it every day. No matter who tells you or tries to deceive you into reading some other stuff, you can be entertained. I still watch movies that probably I shouldn't be watching. Not that bad, but I, I definitely look at Okay, okay. And there's some movies I just have to shut off. We're being sewn into every day. There are ads everywhere. There are people talking all the time. Everywhere we go, we see something we should or should not see. And if we do not have the awareness of rebuking those things and not entertaining those thoughts or those actions of other people or our own sins or our own thoughts that are not good, then our life is going to be miserable. I love the Lord. I love him. I love his word. Man, there was this, someone said this quote, and I'm only quoting this because when I saw that, I remembered. I went to school for ministry. I read quite a few books, but man, nothing, nothing comes, comes to, nothing fills my soul like the word of God. Hold on to the word of God for your life, for your soul, for your eternity. You want to transform life? It's just building a relationship with Jesus, praying and reading the word of God. Get those seeds inside your heart. These are seeds. These are the words. Sow them in your mind. Sow them in your heart and watch your whole life be transformed. I don't even need to teach you anything if you do that. You don't even need to go to church if you do that. But your life will change if you hold on to the scriptures. Who cares about the devotional, man? I want the word of God. Who cares about this book? Who cares about this philosophy? Who cares about these teachers and these false prophets? Read the word of God for your life and hold on to it. No matter what in your life will be amazing. You will see God face to face. You will hear his voice. You will know his love. You will know and feel loved in peace and goodness. But if you do not hold on to the word of God, I'm so sorry for you. Jesus is good. God loves you so much. I thank you so much for tuning in. Read your Bible every day. Thirst for it. And watch everything change. God bless.